Hi everyone, my name is Sean in case you don't know, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about movies that I absolutely refuse to watch. And these are going to be mostly popular movies, so prepare to be offended if you like most popular movies. The first movie that I refuse to watch is Split. I, in the past couple of months, recently opened up a little bit online about why I hate the movie Split and why I will never watch it. So basically the movie Split. It's a very popular movie and it's a horror movie slash thriller movie stars James McAvoy as the villain he's like a famous actor he was in like X-Men that's where I know him from but I 100% refuse to watch Split because it takes a person with dissociative identity disorder or multiple personalities disorder and it villainizes them and now I know what you're thinking like oh that's not the point of the movie because I've had people say that to me but it is villainizing someone with a mental illness and the whole movie generally like focuses on the fact that he has this mental illness and that makes him a villain. I think we need to stop this trend in movies of having the villains that have their sole personality or traits be the fact that they have a mental illness. And I think we need to have a ton more villains in media that don't have mental illnesses because there's already such a big stigma around mental illness. I know that when I first accepted the fact that I had a mental illness. I personally was like, I am a failure of a person, there's no point in living because I was like, there's so much stigma around it that it makes me a bad person. And I feel like we have so many like ideas around mental illness right now where it's like bad to have a mental illness. And I think we need to just like stop that and accept that people with mental illnesses are real people and it doesn't make them a villain. It doesn't make them a bad person. They just have a mental illness and that's perfectly okay. The next movie I refuse to watch is The Joker. I do like some of the DC movies, but I refuse to watch The Joker because it is simply a movie about a person going down the path of like being bullied and all of that and being treated poorly just to the extent that they become a villain and I think that's just an awful idea for a movie and it just sounds really depressing and disturbing. The next movie that I refuse to watch is a movie that came out really recently and it is Sia's movie Music. Music has a very bad portrayal of autism in it. Now I can't 100% vouch for people with autism and the representation in it so everything that I am saying is what I have heard from people with autism. Able people should not get a say in whether it is accurate portrayal or not and so everything that I'm about to say about music is stuff that I have heard directly from people who have autism. So first of all, in the movie Music, they took Maddie- wait, is her name Maddie Zellinger? They took some famous person that isn't like normally an actor, she's normally like a singer or a dancer or something. I'm sorry, I'm like really out of the loop with some celebrities and I just put essential oil on my hand and it feels like it went in my eyes. So they took a completely able person who doesn't have autism and they made her act out autism and the way that she does it, even from the brief snippets of the trailers that I've seen, she is very mocking of someone with autism. And it's clear that Sia did not do research into the film. I am of course not covering everything that is problematic and wrong about the movie music. So I definitely highly recommend that you go and check out some people on Twitter and TikTok who have called out the movie for being problematic and I highly encourage you to check out informations that come directly from people who have autism. I find that so often we as humans just tend to get our critiques, criticisms, and ideas of different movies and shows and whatnot from the popular people or from just the people we know, but if a movie is specifically about like a mental illness or if it is about an LGBTQ plus topic, we need to actually be seeking out people who either identify that way or have those conditions so we can accurately see if it was a good portrayal or not. And I could rant about this for days, but yeah, <laughs> that's what I'll say. I will never watch the movie Music. I will never watch the new Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie. I'm not 100% sure what it is called, and it's not like fairly new. It came out like two years ago. But the thing is, like, when I was in elementary school and in middle school, that was when the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies were coming out with the original cast, and I was really into the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books when I was in elementary school, as most kids are. Like, look, I literally have most of the books right here in my TV stand next to where I'm filming, and I filled out a lot of, like, the do-it-yourself book. Like, Diary of a Wimpy Kid was, like, my thing in elementary school. Like, I was obsessed with Harry Potter and Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I don't want to send hate to the actors who are in the new Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie, but it just doesn't have the same fun feel that the older movies had to me. Just in my brain, like, no other actors can portray those characters for me. And, like, seriously, no hate to the new cast, but, like, 
the movies were my childhood growing up and I just can't picture anyone else as those characters. And the final movie that I'll be mentioning in this video that I absolutely refuse to watch is All the Right Places. Netflix recently adapted the book All the Right Places. The thing is, Netflix does not have a good reputation when it comes to accurately portraying mental health issues. First of all, with Atypical, I have not seen it and I'm still undecided about whether I will watch it or not. Atypical has a normal actor playing an autistic character and a lot of autistic people have said that it is not good representation. Now, as I said, listen to what autistic people have to say because I know some people in my life and just in general who don't have autism and they think it's good portrayal, but it's like you need to listen to people that actually have autism. And then the other terrible show that has to do with suicide is just not okay. Really bad representation. So I don't trust that Netflix can respectfully handle any sort of movie or show with mental health representation and I'm worried that they wouldn't have handled All the Bright Places very well because I know that there is bipolar representation in the movie and I'm just worried that Netflix like really didn't handle that well but I'm not sure I have not seen the movie and I also know what happens at the end of the movie and unfortunately I think that the movie would be way too triggering for me. I think it's too triggering for a lot of people like I think there needs to be clear trigger warnings with any sort of movie like All the Bright Places but unfortunately because I know some people who have chosen to end their life. I don't think that that movie is one that I can ever handle watching and it does have a really good cast. I love the cast members but unfortunately it's a movie that I refuse to watch and I will never watch. So that was all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed me spilling the tea on why I'm never going to be watching these movies. If you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. If there's a movie that you refuse to watch, feel free to leave what movie it is down in the comment section below. Also if you are bipolar and you watched All the Bright Places, can you tell me what you think of the representation because I feel like I don't know enough about it to say whether it's good representation or not, but like I don't trust Netflix and I'm just like curious, did they do it well? Did they do it justice? And not justice in terms of book, but in terms of like the actual mental illness in the movie. So yeah, this was a little more of a sadder video than I normally do. I really keep telling myself I need to do more positive videos and then I sit down and think, what can I make a video about? And all these like negative and controversial videos pop up, so sorry. Feel free to check out my Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all of that. It'll all be linked down in the description below. My voice is starting to go wonky and I don't know why so I feel like I should finish filming so yeah. Have a good week everyone. Remember to stay safe and healthy and reach out to your friends even the ones that seem like they're doing okay because quarantine and COVID has been hard on everyone. And until the next video, bye!